section 6. So here we're working with indices. And, then, and we're told that given that y equals 2 to the power x, so take note of this, we need to show that this equation results to this one here. We're going to get to part b in a second. And then, of course, part b, we need to solve this one. So how do we do this? Well, firstly, let's look at the first term here. We know this one's obviously going to be y. We can see it. How do we make this 2y squared? We need to know our ro uh, rules of indices. So let's look at part a. So from 2, 2x plus 1, this can be rewritten as how? You know, to form this, this is the multiplication of two power, two, two numbers with the same base. So this is the same as 2 to the power 2x times 2 to the power 1. Because if you remember, a to the power of, say, 1 times a to the power 2 equals a to the power 1 plus 2, i.e. a to the 3. It's just a simple case, really, isn't it? So, what do we do here? So now we've done this, how do we separate this part? And again, if, you, if this is multiplied, another situation is that if you get a to the power x squared, this is the same as a to x. So you can see it's, it's the, pretty much the reverse. So this is the same as 2 to the power x squared times 2. I'm going to substitute y back in, because we know that y equals 2x. We should get y squared times 2, or 2y squared. And thus, replacing everything, it becomes quite clear that we're going to get 2y squared minus 17y plus 8 equals 0. Easy. So, let's move on to the next part. We solved this, so now all we, no, so now we, pre we presented this form, so now we want to solve it. How do we do this? So, this is just a simple quadratic, quadratic equation. My first guess would always to do the the factorizing method. So just do the double brackets with 2y and y here to make 2y squared. Now, to get 8, the only combinations we really have is 8 and 1, 4 and 2. I'm not bagging on this one because we need to make a value, we need to make a big term in the beginning. So we need to make 17 and that's only done by adding subtracting. So to, more, to get this term, I would say let's try 2 times 8 is 16 plus 1 y would give us 17 so 2 times 8 is 16 here so this has to be 1 to get plus a we can do plus plus or minus minus but minus minus makes sense to get negative 17 so negative 16 negative 1 and yeah so let's work this out so here this is going to give us 2y equals 1 or y equals half this will give us y equals 8 and record that y equals 2 to the power x so this means we're going to get 2 to the power x equals a half, 2 to the power x equals 8. Now, rewrite this into bases of 2. So this is the same as 2 to the power x equals 2 to the power of negative 1. And this is 2 to the power, 2 to the power x, 8 is the same as 2 cubed. And hence, guys, this tells us that x here equals negative 1, x here equals 3. Done. Hope this helps.